Hello, I'm back again uh, with another uh, filter uh, video. Um, I have customized many different kinds of filters in times past, and uh, I actually got this ideal, at least start running with, with it, uh, through uh, signsofaquariums.com. Uh, that's a great website, and the reason why I like it and trust it so much, because it's a website that's not sponsored by anyone, and it's a website that just has... It's, it's not it's, it's a nonprofit web, website. And so um, matter of fact, I haven't even seen any commercials or or any kind of advertisements on it. And so uh, but it's just some reading It's no videos, but it's just some reading. But it's actual facts, uh, at least that I trust, because they're not getting paid by anyone. And they and they just tell it like it is. But um, I'm definitely uh, finding out that. Uh, that what they're saying is truly is true, and and that it and that it works. At least I definitely agree to what they're saying about this. So anyway, uh, in times past, I have set up my. This is an Ehem 2217, and you can apply this for different kind of e, uh, Ehems. Uh, 2215, 2213, 2211. If you got the big monster, which I believe is 2260, you can you can really work work with it. But to me, this is the cheapest way. And the most effective way to set up your canister filter, whether it's an Eheim or Fluval or Marine Land or whatever it may be, you just have to kind of work it out to your own style. Uh, but you know, in times past, and I have had uh, used in times past, you know, expensive pond matrix. Let's see here, ceramic rings, marine pure balls. Um, let's see what else. And lava rock, you know. And, and what you, you know, I'm not bad talking these products or anything. They will all do one thing, just like any material in your aquarium filter will do. You can even throw plastic uh uh or me man in them. They will all do one thing, and that is they will convert nit uh nit uh nit ammonia, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm saying getting that backwards, but Ammonia to nitrite and then nitrite to nitrate. And, and that's good. Just about any, you know, filter material, biomedia will do that. Um, but what Science of Aquarium was talking about here was actually getting, and you can look it up for yourself, but uh, getting healthy, clean, and, and clear water. Um, and that's what I'm starting to find out since I've had my other Eheim 2217 set up this way. And this is going to cost you half the cost of this expensive uh, media here. And it's gonna do everything that this media does. And, and at least in my opinion, I think it's gonna even do more. Um, so this is how I have my Eheim 2217 set up. And I'm gonna show you something now. Uh, like I said, I go to that signsofaquarium.com. This part here, I do agree on. I've been in a hobby for about 28 years. And so um, this part, I definitely do agree upon. I know he said something in that website that uh, good, a good aged filter will help fight it. I find that to be somewhat true and then somewhat not true. Um, I think it definitely helps to fight it uh, because it keeps your fish more healthier in an in, aged filter. And there are probably some types of microorganisms that will fight and actually kill it. But I still think you still need to medicate uh, it when you when you have an ick problem, at least in my opinion. But I think this way to set up an aquarium is really good. So what I do, and this is just an example, I put lava rock down at the very bottom because lava rock has all these little edges on it. See, all those little edges and catch a lot of debris. So now I don't fill it all the way up with lava rock because you always have to have flow, a flow of water. All filters need a, a some area where that water can flow. Not to be all covered up and stopped up here. You have to have a flow of water. That's how all filters are made, just about. At least the ones that I know about. So you put that over there. Put some lava rock down there. And now I'm going to show you a couple ways how to set this up. And so what you can do is take you a pad. And what I've done, actually, because I've done it a long time ago and I still use it. But I would cut up me some foam of different size, different, different grades. And I would just stack them all down there on the bottom like that, you know, until I get about two layers of cut up foam of different sizes, different pore sizes. But anyway, 
just for this example, you're going to take you a foam pad, probably 20, 20 pore size or 10 pore size. I would go with the, I would go with the 20. 20 should be fine. Put you one down here at the bottom. And then you put you another one down here at the bottom. Same 20 pore size. And then you can take you a sponge like this. This is a coarse sponge. Use the coarse one. Do not use the fine one because the fine one will clog way too fast in a power I mean in a canister filter. So I'll just show you an example here. This is a fine one and this is a coarse one. That's the one you want to use. And for this 2217, this is a, the four and a half inch, I believe it is. I would probably suggest getting the five inch one, but use what you got. So this is a four and a half inch ATI sponge. Put that right down there in the middle. Get you some pot scrubbies and get the and get the good ones. These things here now look like they caught on to something. Can't hardly find them anywhere no more. Uh, I had to order some of these from walmart.com cost me like 14 15 dollars like for 30 of them pretty expensive for some pot scrubbies then i went to a dollar tree in which they don't have them in very many dollar trees in my area i only found them at one they were like four for a dollar and the ones at the dollar tree was actually a little better because they were so sewed up a little bit more tighter than the ones like this one let me show you if i can like this one here from walmart you can see it's not so sewed up very tight but then you get the ones that are from the Dollar Tree. And you can see how it's sewed up. So it does, you know, there are different qualities of pot scrubbies out there. So, but anyway, they all basically work about the same. So you get you some pot scrubbies and you stuff them all the way around. Now, before you do that, let me go back. Sorry. But you see that hole here in the middle of the sponge? You don't want a bunch of bypass. So you take you another sponge and cut it. This is from a aqua clear um, sponge, and I cut it to size to fit in there. And you just put that all the way in that hole. Just stuff it down in there. Now you see. Now that goes all the way through. Now that's all the way through the hole. And also, not only is that good, but that also is from end to end here. Just make sure that it goes all the way to the other end, all the way to the other end, just like that. There, see, all the way to the other end. So this is pretty good because what this is going to also do is add extra biological filter, making this filter even more excellent. But this is the way, one of the ways how I had it set up. So you can stuff with a four and a half inch uh, ATI. If you're really good, you can stuff about seven pot scrubbies all the way around here. So you take the pot. For this one, I'm going to probably just stuff six because this is just... A quick video just showing you what I'm doing here but I could easily get seven in there if I really stuffed them right but anyway so I just got six around here but you can do seven it, according to what size this internal uh, filter this internal sponge is but you go to the other side and you stuff seven or six in this case it's six pot scrubbies all the way around and this one is really good. I like, like the way how this one, sorry about getting off camera, is set up. So you stuff it all the way around. Then, so that gives you now, uh, in my case, here it says six, I mean 12, but if you do it right, you can do 14. Then you put a pot scrubby right here in the middle, right? So now you have, you know, let's just say in this particular case, you have 13 pot scrubbies, one right there in the middle, you sit right there in the middle, and then you take you a two inch if you can get it one inch will probably fit better but a two inch a 30 uh, uh, 30 pore holes or 30 ppi sponge and you put that right there on the top okay that right there on top this is really good because you got now you got pot scrubbies you got that thick sponge in the middle and you got all that so uh, what that's going to do it's produced in a, ma a mass amount of bacteria, uh, far more than what this or here ever could produce uh, within your aquarium. This on top is actually your biological filter. So once your flow slows down, and it needs to slow down, it take a long time for your flow to slow down, probably almost up to a year. But once your, once your flow slows down significantly, a lot, okay, 
Then you just simply take this out and you just rinse it out in some aquarium water. Take some of your prot scorpions out and just lightly rinse them out like that. But that is, uh, that is one excellent, let me tell you, one excellent way of, uh, of uh, producing a massive amount of bacteria. Now I'm going to quickly show you another way, the way how I got it set up in my aquarium as of now. Just quickly take these right here all back out. Okay. So the procedure is just the same, but this time we're going to do something a little different. We're going to use far more pot scurvies this time. Instead of the 12, we're going to actually, or 13, we're going to actually do this. Now we're going to actually get far more pot scurvies in there. <clears throat> So you're going to just put them here on the bottom. And in this particular case, with the EM 2217, I can get 12 pot scrubbies just on the bottom. That's 12 on the bottom. And that's not quite 12, I don't think, here. But this is just, like I said, for illustration purposes. And then what I'm going to do with those, with those open spaces, any open spaces that I got, I'm going to stuff them with extra, extra foam. Okay, extra foam. All right. Then I'm going to do 12 more pot scrubbies right on top of that one. Okay, 12 more pot scrubbies. So now I'm really ranking up the possibility. Well, I think I ran out of pot scrubbies actually. Well, here's one more. <laughs> but anyway, you get the point. I'm going to, so that's going to give me how many pot scrubbies it's going to give me. That's going to give me 24 uh, pot scrubbies. 24 of these things. So 24 pot scrubbies. Here's another one. So that's going to give me 24 pot scrubbies because I stuck 12. And then I'm going to put the big sponge here on top. So that's going to work out really, 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 really well too as well. And so um, with this particular setup, Instead of, you can actually do, like on the bottom, I said you can only do two, two sponges on the bottom. You can actually do three sponges on the bottom. Because in my other filter, I've got cut of sponges at the very bottom, then another layer of one inch sponge, uh, which is 20 uh, uh, P, uh, 20, 24, and then another 24 or PPI uh, on top of that one. Three sponges on the bottom, then 24 pot scrubbies, then a two inch uh, 30 uh, PPI sponge on top. Put the filter down, push it down a little bit and let it roll. So either way, those right there, uh, either way will work. This is definitely a, a favorite way. I like, I, I like, I like that way too, using the, the sponge like this, but this way here will be just as effective. Why? Because you have, instead of 13 pot scrubbies or 14 pot scrubbies, you have now 24, which makes a big difference. But you have the factor of this sponge here being in the, in the, in the middle, which also makes a difference. So either way is very, is very uh, effective. Either way you, you, you want to set those up. But I want to show you something why pot scrubbies are so effective as biofiltration. I know this video is a little long, but I just want to show you something. Let me show you something here. Here is my aquarium water. Here's a pot scrubby. And uh, watch this. Dip it in there. Look at all that water that that scrubby holds. Let's just do that for one more illustration. Look at all that water. I can actually feel the water in that thing. Scrubby holds. So when you look at these plastic scrub pot scrubbies, you look at all those holes around there. Think about all that bacteria that can actually develop in that pot scrubby and that's why they're so effective and again why foam is so expensive so effective i'm just going to show you the ati sponge up close look at all those holes that is in that thing you can just see tons of holes in there so that one's effective so really in essence yeah, and I'll show you this 30 PPI one. 
Look at all those holes. And you can get a really good 30 PPI sponge from Swiss Tropicals. I did not. I got this one from uh, eBay, uh, from CLL. And it seems like it works pretty good. It got some good reviews. So maybe later, later on I get some from Swiss Tropicals. But you just look at the holes and the pores in that thing. It's going to develop a lot of bacteria. A lot of water flow is going to go through there. Now, will this set up either way? Will it... Uh, get rid of nitrates, I highly doubt it. It's very difficult to uh, get rid of nitrates and actually control it. I haven't seen a media yet that can that, that can do it. Not Biohomes, not Matrix, not Marine Pure, not any of that kind of stuff. Will it get rid of uh, ni uh, ammonia and nitrite? Yes. Will it produce a, a huge amount of bacteria? Yes. Will it help to also clarify your water? Yes, um, and will it, in my opinion, you, will you have more healthier fish after this has run for maybe like four or five months? Yes, um, and so I think the positives with this definitely outweigh the negatives. If there's hardly any negatives at all, and so save yourself a lot of money, buy yourself some pot scrubbies, buy yourself some uh, foam and sponge, and stuff your filter with just that. On my next video. After this has cycled for about a month or so, I want to show you how I'm going to actually do, yes, my hang on the back, my Title 75 with pot scrubbies and uh, foam. And so stay tuned for that. Thank you. Sorry about the long video and happy fishing.